Go ahead, Brandon. How's it going? Hey, Brandon, I'll start us off. Um, when you watched film uh, that they get to break it down, what, what did you kind of take away as kind of the correctable mistakes for you guys? Um, you know, just going back and looking at the film, uh, going over it with Coach Rod, um, you know, it wasn't all bad. Um, there was definitely some missed opportunities in that game um, and some ex execution errors, some MAs. Um, but, I mean, from here we just got to, you know, be more focused, uh, be better at the little things. Um, one man does their job. Um, and I think the things will, I mean, will be looking up for us. The last three games you've played, Brandon, you've led the team in rushing. I, that makes you a dual threat. Um, Rod said he maybe needs to take the lid off of you as a runner. He's been trying to protect you. How do you feel you can add to the offense by running? Take the wood off? What does that mean? Take, take the lid off, allow you to run more. You oh, saying. I got you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, with what with uh, what Wisconsin was doing in their game plan, they were, you know, leaving the edge open for the quarterback. Um, you know, it seemed like they were really stacking the box, um, playing man coverage to stop the run, um, and that opened up opportunities for me to, you know, make some hay with my feet. Um, you know, I have no problem with you know using my feet if I have to do it more, or if that's more involved in the game plan. You know, I'm all for it. What do you do? You think that can help the rest of the offense? Does it open up anything else for the rest of the offense? If, I mean, yeah. It, I mean, having that that to your ability, I mean, it does open up other things. You know, it makes the the defense be more honest. Um, you know, having having um, someone key on on the quarterback, um, it's it's going to open up lanes to run. Um, you know, other opportunities with play calls, um, and you know, it's good for the pass as well. Thanks, Brian. Yep. Brandon, Rod mentioned, you know, he doesn't necessarily say you have to target him, him, and him. It sounds like a little freedom for you back there in terms of ball distribution. What's that like as a quarterback to have that freedom? Yeah, Coach Rod, you know, he puts a lot, a lot on my shoulders, you know, to, you know, what he says to be a point guard out there. Um, you know, he gives me a lot of freedom to, you know, make decisions and, you know, distribute the ball. Um, you know, and when you do that, I mean, I think it helps, you know, just, you know, you, you think freely, you think uh, strategically um, in that manner. It's not like, oh, you have this set thing you have to do, like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it works well. Um, and, you know, I think we have the weapons around us to do that as well. There were some early season games last year, some disappointing games before you turned it around, with, you know, beginning with that Wisconsin game. Did being mm -hmm. in that position or in that experience kind of help you know, maybe see that there's still eight more games to go in this and you guys have kind of flipped the coin before like that? Yeah, luckily we still have eight more games, like you said. Um, and again, it's only one loss in the in the loss column. It's not like it's multiple. So, um yeah, I mean, obviously that was a disappointing game. Um, There's a lot we didn't do well, um, but there's a lot, a lot to build on, a lot to get better at. Um, you know, going into this week, uh, we just got to be even more focused um, and prepare. You know, it takes all 11 guys. You know, if one guy messes up uh, on, a, on a play, misses their assignment, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna affect the whole thing. So, you know, moving forward, I think it's important for our guys to, you know, really hone in on what their job is and do it to their best of their ability. And, you know, I think if we can do that, um, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything crazy in the game plan. Um, if we just stick to it and do that, I think, you know, things will start rolling a little bit better. My final thing for you, Rod said, you know, the practices leading up to that were good. I mean, it had been a good couple of weeks. Was it surprising to you that it, I guess maybe where was the disconnect from the practice field to the game? Yeah, I mean, we did have good practices, but you know, I think you got to give credit to Wisconsin. They they threw some threw some things at us that you know we might not have been expecting. Um, you know, they played a lot of man, and you know, when you play man, you got to win on the outsides. You know, the receivers got to go win one on one balls, and you know, we didn't really give ourselves the opportunity in situations to do that. Uh, not being able to move the chains. And when we did take those opportunities, you know, we didn't capitalize on them. 
Um, you know, I thought Wisconsin had a great game plan on defense going in to stop the run, and that's what they did. Um, so, you know, when that happens in the future, we just got to be able to adjust better on the fly. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, the uh, <clears throat> the targets the other night were, were 10 for, for Josh, three for Barker, and one for everybody else. Uh, mm -hmm. I asked Rod Smith this question. He said, you know, he trusts his quarterback to, to take what the defense is giving, and he mentioned the man thing as well. Tell me about the balance between, you know, going to your main guy versus spreading the ball around and, and what you're seeing back there. Yeah, like like you, like Rod said, they are playing a lot of man. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to take my best guy and best matchup to go, you know, go win that one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchup. Uh, we just, you know, 10 out of three, I mean, that's not, not great, not what you want to see. Um, you know, I think there was a few drops in there. But, you know, we just got to, you know, again, the, the little things, catching the football, um, you know, that that's huge. Um, but, you know, I know that I trust in those guys. I know they'll get it corrected. Um, I mean, again, you know, my reads, it took me where I needed to go. Um, so, I mean, if, if it's 10 to baby and that's where my reads are taking me, then so be it. And what's your uh, – you know, you said you've watched a lot of film and, and seen any big steps going into week two of like, uh, okay, this is new offense and this is new guys. And here's the steps I need to take this year. Um, I like, what, what do you mean? Like as far as, you know, th there was a groove last season, say the Michigan state game, you know, you had, you had found the same receivers, you had found the same tight ends. There was a, there was a consistency to the offense. This was a little jumbled. Do you see anything differently going into this year? Um, no, I don't see, you know, much different. Um, again, going back to the Wisconsin game, we weren't able to really open it up because, you know, we had a lot of three and outs and we weren't moving the football. Uh, you know, the momentum after that second second play, that fumble, I mean, I mean, we can't have that turnovers on the first first drive of the game. And that hurts us. Um, I don't think there's anything new or like that's messing with the offense um, going into this year. I you know we just got to execute better. Okay, thanks. Yep. Brandon, can you take me inside your process on how you watch film, whether it's as a group with Rod and, and, and or by yourself? Um, what do you, what do you like to do after a game? Do you take it home with you? Do you watch it by yourself? What's your process? Yeah, I've watched the Wisconsin game, I think, four times now. Um, a couple times by myself. Um, and then, you know, really going into detail with Coach Rod, um, you know, what he expects to be better, what he likes, um, what he would like to have seen us do better, execute better. Um, you know, as far as game planning for, for Purdue, um, you know, I, we watched – two, three hours worth of film already today with Coach Rod this morning, uh, just going over their tendencies, what they like to do. Um, and also last night, you know, for me, I like to just go and watch a full game, um, just see the ebbs and flows of a game. Um, also just seeing tendencies as well. Do you, is it like a class for you? Do you have a pen and a paper, like your pen and a pad, like with you, or, or do you oh. kind of just mentally process everything? Uh, I always got a pen and paper. Always, it's you know, it sticks in your mind better when you write it down and you you're thinking about it as well. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. Hey, Brandon. Um, with the idea of maybe you know correctable mistakes from Friday night, is there maybe more urgency to do so in a season like this where you know it's shortened, you know, to eight regular season games and you know there's no maybe a bye week, you know, down the road where you know, that could be like a real growth week as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, with the all Big Ten schedule, um, you know, we got to be on our P's and Q's, um, you know, every week. Um, I mean, every team we play is, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a dogfight. So, you know, we got to be on top of it. Um, but, you know, I think, I mean, the way that, Coach Rod has our offense set up for us. It allows us to play fast and 
um, you know, going into this week. Um, again, we just got to have more focus. Um, guys got to, you know, do their responsibilities and do it to the best of their abilities. Thank you. Hey, Brandon, I uh, hope everything's going all right. You mentioned before the season that completion percentage and moving the chains were two things that you really wanted to focus on. Um, obviously, third and fourth down were a challenge for the offense, two at 10 on third, 0 for three on fourth. Um, what are you looking at to try to improve on this week um, so you guys can move the chains a little bit better? <laughs> oh, completing the football. <laughs> um, you know, you know, for us, it's a lot of the times we were behind the chains, whether it be penalties or, you know, just being in a third and long. Um, but, you know, with those fourth, those fourth and shorts, you know, we just got to, you know, we got to execute better. And that's on my part, too. I missed opportunities out there that, you know, would have uh, enabled us to get a first down. Uh, you know, we had Josh um, going into the red zone on third and eight, third and seven. He dropped it, um, you know, just little things like that. I mean, just I mean, getting those first downs, moving the chains is huge because then you can start doing some more stuff um, and start opening it up a little bit. When you constantly go three and out or you're, you know, punting the ball away, it kind of kills momentum. So I think, again, like I said, completing the football, um, getting those first downs, moving the chains, you know, it's going to help us a lot. And you mentioned kind of being thrown off by uh, the amount of playing time Isaiah got and you not being able to find a rhythm out there today. Lovey reiterated you're the quarterback, obviously, and he also said Brandon will play outstanding football for us the rest of the year. What, did that, what does that confidence from your head coach mean for you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I know Coach Lovey believes in me. Um, you know, he's, he's always instilled that um, – that belief in me you know we have constant communication um and you know i believe in coach lovey as well and i i know he's a man of his word but um you know coach rod you know reiterated to us you know he thinks that uh isaiah matt are you know all the qbs are good enough to go out there and play um you know isaiah is maybe a little bit different player than i am um and you know he can make and he's a great athlete and he can make plays on the ground and throwing as well. Um, so, you know, if it's in the game plan for coach Rod to switch it up, you know, I'm in full support of that. And I, you know, I just got to do what I can do uh, when I'm out there on the field and do it to the best that I can do. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. Hey, Brandon, Joe Dehonick, uh, pretty rock exponent student newspaper. Moving into this week, what or maybe who would you say is the biggest weapon or biggest threat on Purdue's defense? And what are you individually and maybe also as a team doing to prepare for that this week? Yeah, Purdue, um, just watching the film today, they're really stout up front. Their front five is uh, really, really good. Um, so, you know, again, I think our O-line is going to have to have a, you know, a great week of preparation for those guys. Um, they got a big old nose tackle right up front. Um, so, I mean, we got, we got a challenge ahead of us. So I think as long as we can get those guys contained up front and, you know, and establish a run game, um, uh, it'll be a big positive for us. Thanks, Brandon.